Before we start for another day and another vlog, um, gusto ko pong itake yung opportunity, opportunity na ito upang uh, syempre mapasalamat po no, sa lahat ng positive na feedback and um, comments niyo sa nakaraang vlog na ginawa natin. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng nanood po ng no, part 1 and part 2 ng My Work in TSA and yung Workplace uh, Quick Tour natin. So, maraming salamat dahil um, nakakataba ng puso. No? Um, ang saya, parang super warm nung pag accept niyo dun sa, sa ginawa natin and uh, glory to God dahil uh, miiilan tayong um, na-inspire, na-blessed no, sa, sa ginawa natin. So, if hindi nyo pa napanood, uh, mga kapatid, ati kuya, yung ginawa natin last time, so, maglalagay tayo ng, ano, ng link no, ng link sa description box para mapanood niyo yun. So, um, Without further ado, so um, pag-uusapan natin ngayon kung anong gagawin natin sa araw na ito. Anong gagawin natin sa vlog na ito ngayon. So, um, nandito tayo ngayon. As you can see, diba? Nag-tour tayo last time. So, nandito tayo ngayon sa gym area. So, sa gym na room. So, ano na? Gabi na ngayon. So, yung time natin is 10, 10, 14 in the evening. So, um, gabi na, wala nang pasyente, so pwede na tayo dito mag-shoot. And, uh, yun nga, ngayon, uh, baka tayo nandito? Ano kakawin natin dito? So, nandito tayo ngayon dahil, um, tuturuan mo kayo, isi-share ko sa inyo yung mga tips, yung mga tips, and yung mga simple, simple exercises na itinuturo ko or isi-share natin sa mga pasyente natin na merong lower back Pain. So, lower back pain. So, very common na, na ano yan, complaint ng mga pasyente natin. Uh, siguro, dati na nasa Pinas pa tayo, madami din tayong patient talaga na merong, merong lower back pain. Most, siguro yun talaga yung, aside sa stroke, yun talaga yung, I think, yung pinaka- uh, ano din, uh, madaming incidents ng lower back pain sa Pinas and kahit dito sa Saudi. Okay, so yung first exercise na gagawin natin is yung new knee to chest. So yung tawag dito, it's unilateral knee to chest. So paano siya gawin? So nakahiga tayo. Ganito. So nakahiga. Yan. Yeah. Dito niya ba? So nakahiga. And then, Unilateral. So, isa-isa. Isa-isa yung paggawa nito. So, yung una is, ito. Itong leg natin. Unahin natin yung right leg. So, this is my right leg. So, yung gagawin ko is, hawakan ko siya dito. And then, ipupulo ko siya towards my chest. So, as much as you can. So, kung hindi kaya, kung super tight talaga, um, pwede mo mabahan-dahan lang. So, yung ina-advise ko sa mga patients ko is, um, Kung meron kayong uh, existing na knee problem, so ina-advise ko na maghawa kayo dito sa below, dito under, under your thigh. So sa likod siya ng tuhod, sa likod ng uh, thigh ninyo kayo lumawa. Kasi pag dito, bakit? Bakit hindi dito? So usually kasi yung mga pasyente natin matatanda na, no? And meron na sila talagang problema sa tuhod. So kung dito sila hawa, ito po na stretching. So, Mas ma, mas ma ano yung pressure, mas malaki yung pressure, mas uh, malaki yung pressure na nabibigay dito sa tubo. So, mas mag-aggravate yung harapan ko kanina. So, yung ina-advise ko is dito, dito sa likod ng file na talaga ng mawa. So, ipipull mo siya ng ganun, mag-count ka ng 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Tapos, slowly, you put it down. So, hindi siya biglaan. So, you do it 10 times. 
So, another thing, gawin mo naman sa kabila. So, alternate ito. So, alternate. Doin nyo natin ako sa isa-isa, but alternate, you do it alternatively. You do it, you do it na alternating. So, next is I'm doing it with my left leg. So, you do the same. So, this is the first exercise. So, saan nyo dapat, saan nyo dapat makifili ng stretch? So, yung stretch is nandito. So, nandito siya sa likod, mula dito sa likod, sa low back, makifili nyo na sa flatten yung, yung, uh, yung low back nyo, na sa flatten siya. Kasi, um, it's very tight. So, you have to, you, you have to feel the stretch in the, from the low back to the buttocks up to here sa likod ng thigh. So, pull it like this. Napakasarap ng feeling, guys, no? So, ano ba dapat yung, yung stretch na mararamdaman nyo? So, yung stretch na mararamdaman nyo is dapat moderate pain lang. Hindi siya ganun kasakit. So, kasi, ayaw din natin ma-feel, ayaw din natin na, na so, sobrang masaktan kasi nga, it causes damage, further damage dun sa, sa tight na muscle na kailangan natin i-stretch. Stretch. So, dapat moderate pain lang. Yung pain na parang masakit, pero masarap yung feeling. So, yun yung dapat nila mo feel. So, okay. So, yan. It's na. And then, okay. So, next, next is, we will do the second exercise, which is the bilateral knee to chest. So, yung una ginawa natin, yung bilateral knee to chest, so, kasi isa-isa siya. Yung bilateral knee to chest naman is we're doing it simultaneously. So, dalawang leg, ililift, i-pull natin siya towards our chest simultaneously. So, ito po siya paano gawin. So, it's just lie, lie down again. And then, lift your leg like this. And then, i-pull mo siya. So, again, yung kamay, dapat under, under the thigh. And then, you pull it slowly. So, yung isang thigh, ay yung isang kamay dito sa likod ng kabila ng, ng left and then yung kabila dito naman sa likod. So, you can also hold like this. Pwede mo siya i-class na ganun para mas madali. So, ito. So, you will count again. You will count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then slowly, you put it down. Okay? So, kailangan, lahat ng, lahat ng exercises na to is kailangan tolerable. No? Kailangan matolerate niyo yung pain, hindi yung sobrang sakit. Huwag niyo piliin yung sarili niyo kung sobrang sakit siya. So, pwede rin naman na kung sobrang sakit, hanggang dito lang, and then just pull like this. Hindi nga lang yung tanong super sagad na ipupull niyo talaga siya towards your chest. So, dahan-dahan tayo. You do it gradually, pero safe. Okay? So, yeah. You do it 10 times again here on the left leg. So, gagawin nyo, parang naka di 4. Kaya siya figure, kaya siya figure 4, kasi naka di 4 ka. And then, nilalagay mo yung leg mo. Kaya, it's mas better kung dito tayo. Yes, like this. So, since yung problem natin dito sa right timing, so, ilalagay natin yung right leg natin towards the other leg, dito sa knee, dito sa knee area. And then, ipupulin natin siyang ganun. So, the stretching would be like this. So, we're loosening it up. Kailangan natin po nang i-loose before doing the exercise. So, before doing the stretching, kailangan man muna natin siyang i-loose it. So, ano gagawin natin? Ito, itong right leg natin, yung right knee, ipupull natin na towards the side like this. So, wala siya hold. Ganyan lang, paulit-ulit. Ten times. Three, four, five. Para malusin a little bit. Five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10. So, sa last 10 na exercise, you do it, uh, medyo may hold siya. So, you put it for another 10 seconds to the sides. So pushing it to the sides. So, itong kamay ko, pinupush niya towards the side. So, ganyan. And then, another to loose, loose it up is this leg. Itong leg na nasa taas, so, kailangan medyo i-reach na siya din siya towards our, towards our, um, here, our shoulder. So, yung right knee natin, kailangan, we're trying to, to reach our left shoulder. So, paganon. So, we can feel the stretch on the side, on the side of our thigh, on the right thigh. So, 
doing the stretch and do it again just to loosen it up for doing the stretching for the figure four okay another you can do it five times so another okay medyo matagal so note lang guys na itong knee na to is we're not trying to push it to the left side no? so sa other side no? ng ano ng na ating body here on the left we're not trying to put this leg right leg on the left towards left but what we are trying to do is itong right knee we're trying to reach the left shoulder so yun yung gusto natin mangyari okay so you can feel as long as you feel the stretch on the right uh, right side of your thigh it's good back in the right side of the thigh it's good okay so right now we're ready to do the figure four stretch so ito it last a leg we put it here on the back part of our uh, we put it on the back part of our thigh and then slowly you pull it towards your chest so same pa rin, as you can see naka figure four pa rin, your right leg go so you can feel the stretch on the right thigh so, under and on the sides of the right thigh so it's very good guys masarap ang feeling so kailangan yung note take note na kailangan yung pain na mararamdaman ninyo is it's not too painful so kailangan yung stretch na tolerable okay okay you do it for 10 seconds hold and then relax okay inhale exhale so but then you can do the inhale and like, the deep breathing exercises so when you do um, when you do it you inhale first and then when you do the stretch you exhale one two three four five six seven eight nine ten relax okay very good rest for a while Para ka nang alay yung leg niyo, pwede niyo rin ibaba siya ng ganyan. You rest for a while. Shake, shake, shake muna. Ganyan, ganyan. Shake, shake, shake. Pero, pag tolerable naman, you can do it, um, ano. Okay, so, um, hello guys. So, may nakalimutan tayong gawin, no? So, may, may nakalimutan akong, um, isuggest sa inyo alternative ways to do the figure four na stretching exercise. So, for example, meron kasi mga ibang mga pasyente na hindi nila kaya gawin yun, yung figure four. So, for example, dahil hindi nila kaya ipull. Hindi nila, kaya, for example, naka-figure four, right? Hindi nila kaya ipull ito towards their chest. So, ano ba gawin nila? So, ika tayo ulit para makita. So, for example, ito. Uh, ito na lang. So, for example, ito pa rin yung gusto natin i-stretch. Yung right leg pa rin yung gusto natin i-stretch. So, yung gagawin, diba ganyan? For, for normal person, like uh, like us, no, kaya natin gawin. Like, hindi naman ganun katay ka nararang naman kasi natin dito. So, kaya natin gawin. Kaya natin kawakan. Tapos, i-pull towards our chest. Kaya natin siyang i-lift ng ganyan. Pero, for some cases, no, um, hindi nila kaya gawin yan. Lalo pag sobrang sakit, lalo pag sobrang sakit, or minsan masyadong uh, masyadong malaki yung um, dito, chan, or yung rest of fats dito. So, hindi nila kaya gawin yung ganun pagay. So, paano, ano yung alternative way to do it? Pwede ko muna ng belt. So, wala tayong, wala tayong belt rin dito. Wala tayong belt. Hindi sa sinilin na nakuha. So, um, ano na lang, uh, imagine nyo na lang. So, kung kayo ng belt, any belt na mahaba, Pwede niyo siyang ilagay dito. For example, I have a belt here. So, gaganyan. So, ipupull ko siya ng ganyan. So, ikahawakan ko yung belt na gano'n. And then, ipupull ko siya ng ganyan. So, hindi ko na siya kailangan hawakan dito under my thigh. Hawakan ko na lang yung belt. Then, ipupull ko siya slowly towards my chest. So, gano'n lang siya. And then, slowly put it down. So, let's... Okay, so nakita nyo na how to do it. So you can do it, you can do it. A note na lahat ng exercises na ginawa natin is you will do it 10 repetitions. So some, some po siya na ulit-ulit. And then if possible, if kaya nyo, 10 seconds hold each. So that we can yung stretch. Bakit kailangan natin mag-hold? Kasi nga stretching siya. Hindi lang siya simple exercise na ginagawa natin for, for the sake of movement. Kasi pag, pag hindi mo hinold, hindi mo hinold ng 10 seconds yung yung position na yun, hindi na yung stretching yung tawag doon. So, simple movement lang yung ginawa mo doon. So, you have the movement on, on the muscle and on the joint. Pero, walang stretching na nangyayari. Okay guys, 
Okay, so so kung uh, medyo may na feel kayong uh, uh, hindi hindi comfortable no sa sa stretching na ginawa natin, sa exercise na na napanood niyo no, you can uh, you can stop it. So hindi natin ina-advise sa lahat ng cases. So if mayro hindi kayo na relief after doing it, merong mas lalong lumala yung sakit, stop doing it and it's better to consult your doctor. So anong doctor ba yung dapat yung puntahan in case na you have problems like this. So, you can go in uh, any rehab doctor or pwede rin um, orthopedic doctor. P- pero, um, I suggest na dumiretso na lang kayo for, if meron kayong mga case na ganyan, dumiretso na lang for a rehab doctor. So, yung tawag sa um, rehab doctors natin sa Philippines is physiatrist. So, okay, hello. So, we're done already with the uh our exercises. So, I hope na marami kayo na-learn. I hope na na-relieve ang, ang ilan sa inyo no, while doing the exercises with me. So, um, of course, before we end this vlog, um, uh, we will, I will share no, um, a, Bible, a Bible verse. So, um, isi-share natin ngayon is... Okay. So, isi-share natin ngayon na Bible verse sa inyong lahat is from uh, 1 Corinthians 6:19. So 1 Corinthians um, chapter 6 verse 19. So basahin po natin lahat-lahat. Basahin po natin sabay-sabay. So or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God and you are not your own. Praise God. Hallelujah. So um Narinig natin, no, na our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So, Holy Spirit. So, yun yung pinagkaloob sa atin ng Lord nung tayo'y um, binigyan niya ng panibagong buhay. Panag- panibagong buhay simula nung um, He died for our sins. So, yun yung iniwan niya before He ascended to heaven. Yan yun yung Holy Spirit na palagi nandiyan sa atin. Yan yung Holy Spirit na nagko-convict sa atin sa mga bagay na we do we do wrong no mga bagay na na yan yung nagsasabi pag meron tayong nagagawa tama meron tayong nagagawang mali so talagang napakaimportante ng holy spirit because we believe in the holy trinity right we believe in the the power of the father the son and the holy spirit so holy spirit father jesus christ are are one so iisa lang sila so very important na dahil nga our body, this physical body that we have, this is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Ano ibig sabihin niyo? Parang, this is the, the house, this is the home. No? Yan yung bahay ng, ng, ng Diyos. Yan yung, yung ating katawan. Yan yung physical body natin. So, the same way, for example, wala tayong bahay. Ano mangyayari sa atin? Diba? Ano, ano yung Anong mangyayari? Bukulat tayong bahay, hindi tayo mauulan lang tayo sa labas, no? Napakainis sa labas. Anong mangyayari sa, sa atin? No? Wala tayong, wala tayong makakain kasi wala tayong bahay. Napakahirap. Napakahirap na walang bahay. So, yan din yung Lord sa buhay natin. That's why we are always reminded na na we should take care of our body because dyan nagre-reside ang Holy Spirit. Dyan nagre-reside yung 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 power ni ng Lord sa buhay natin no sa ating pangangatawan though na we pray yes we pray no hindi na kukulang we pray all the time na Lord um, give us good health no usually naririnig pa nga natin diba sa mga birthday wishes i wish you good health i pray i pray that you may have long life ganun um even us, personally, no, we pray to the Lord na, Lord, sana bigyan niyo pa ako ng malakas na pangangatawan. Lord, sana bigyan niyo pa ako ng hindi ako magkasakit, gano'n. But, the question is, are you doing your part also to take care of your body? Diba? Yan yung question dun eh. Are you eating the right food? Are you are you doing your your part also in doing, in doing the things that that can improve your well-being, that can improve your your um, your body. Parang yun yung question eh. So, it's very important na na we do our part also. Kasi ang Lord, nandyan palagi yung protection niya sa buhay natin. Nandyan palagi yung, yung guidance niya sa buhay natin. Nandyan palagi yung grace, yung mercy niya. Nandyan palagi eh. Binibigyan niya ng Lord. Provided that we do also our part. 
So, amen. So, talagang thank you, Lord, because you always remind us na na in everything we do, nandiyan ka, yes, you are with us, you are the end of us, but it should be a collaboration, it should be a an effort, a conscious effort of both parties, of you, of us, and the Lord. So, thank you so much, and uh, I hope that you were blessed today, I hope that you, um, you are inspired to to of course to, to be a better person that you can be no to do our part no as a as a children of God because our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit we should take care take care of it ito yung ito yung isang bagay na ipinagkalob sa atin ng Lord na kailangan nating ingatan at pahalagahan so um, we should do our part also and not just uh, depend everything to to God's grace. So, uh, maraming salamat sa inyo. And once again, maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga, maraming salamat sa lahat ng nanood, nagtapos, na, napatapos ang video na to. So, God bless everyone and see you in our next vlog. Bye!